for this year next year Kenya Ports Authority has been sharing the games on account of that I'm now starting here as the chairman of the Coastal Games for this year and next year I want to appreciate KPA for the kind of support it has given to the Coastal Government Councils since we started the planning and organization of the games apart from the direct support that has come the organization, Kenya Ports Authority, did on behalf of the Coastal Government Council carry out a CSR activity at the Nyanjwa School of the Mentally Handicapped. That's about two kilometers from here. Apart from that support, you've also seen during the opening games, we had a KT choir here, and today we have witnessed the traditional dancers here who has given us the, um, the, Luya, uh, the Luya dance. We want to appreciate KT for this gesture, and we hope that all day and night, with no issue. On that account, we want to appreciate the county government and the county commissioner for this. In addition to that, we want to appreciate on behalf of the Garden Council, the Kisi County Government of His Excellency Governor Ngwai. We've had a lot of support. All the venues were well done. And it's on that account, before we made a decision to come here, because we went around the country to choose which part of the country is going to host this game. And we found Kisi had excellent games, excellent venues. We want to appreciate you for this. And you want to ask our sister countries that we should emulate what we found out in Kisi. I believe that our coming here, apart from the CSR activities I've mentioned, we also left money around here. The water of the people around here are very happy because we've been using them. We've had a lot of plenty. The food around here, the matokes, the indices, the bananas, and the viasis. Name it, you find it here. The weather has also been very beautiful for us as sportsmen, and I believe that we, are, we shall be dreaming every time to come back to Kisi. In addition to that, I also want to appreciate the support we've had from the private sector. We've always wanted to involve the private guys in our games. And this year, we were lucky we have had Green Bank handlers who supported us. We also have, and they are here with us, Minet insurance brokers. They have done a wonderful job. We've had a medical camp here. And they have been seeing a number of, not only participants, but the citizens of this country, especially the Bagusi who are living in this town. Thank you very much, and we hope to see you again next year. I want to say that in addition to what thank you I want to say that in addition to what Minet did the six star organizations also contributed to the wellness here each organization has got a wellness team and the combined team went around this town and did a number of things and so that is an indication that because it's not only games but we also want to look at the welfare and the wellness of the members of this party. So we had a number of theater activities, apart from that medical camp, which was done the business community, the business community benefited. There was an engagement that was done between the business community and our wellness team at the Rajambili, where they, they, they were educated on a number of issues, including HIV and the problem of cancer and how we can be able to uh, live well as citizens of this country. In addition to that, our wellness team distributed, there was distribution of 1,014 HIV AIDS self-test kits. In the course of that, we had a number of guys who for the first time knew their status. They were either positive or negative. Those who were negative, our team went ahead and they were, they were cancelled and referred 
for medical care so that they can live as the other citizens of this, 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 uh, this country. We want to appreciate you for that. Above all, we had a distribution of 2,200 condoms. 8,200 for male and 2,000 for female. We want to have a society of people who are active, people who can produce, people who can develop this country. I hope that this wellness will carry on well. The Kikoso team also planted trees. We went to Kisi High School and planted, with the support of the ministry, 200 seedlings. In addition to that, in front of you, you are seeing some boards there. We have distributed some of them. We have donated some of the boards. Kisi High School, Kiriri Girls, and the local team that was also our guest team here, Savannah, is also going to benefit from the balls that we are going to distribute as Kikoso. We hope that they will be able next year to leave the stage where they are and join the Premier League so that as a sporting county, they will carry the flag ahead. We've had a number of at least from this county and we believe that they will complement what has been going done here by promoting soccer in this society. In an effort to improve and take care of the environment, I've indicated we planted trees. And on behalf of the Governing Council, I also want to recognize and appreciate the CS, the CAS, the Minister of Transport, Honorable Chris Obore. He was with us here. As Coastal Governing Council, I wish to inform you that we are going to have a postmortem, post in which we are going to review what has been going on here. Then we'll choose a team that will go around the countries to be able to identify suitable venues. I, however, want to let you know that among the venues we have in mind is Narok, Meru, Machakos, Mombasa. I want to talk about Mombasa because coming from KPA, where I work, the last time we had a course in Mombasa was 1991. Some of us here as participants were not even born. It is not fair that for all these years, the governing council, I hope you are not going to accuse me for being biased. You still have your decision, but I'm appealing that next game we should have in Mombasa. But again, the decision will still come to you based on the report you shall have gotten from the country, from the team that will be selected to check the Venus. I also want to let you know that, order please, we've had some constraints, especially with regard to disbursements of funds. The games come immediately after the budget. That has somehow constrained us. And the feeling of the governing council is that they should consider pushing the Kikosa date from the month of August to probably towards the end of the year. We know that once the postmortem has been done. So we let you know, because we are intending to have that postmortem in the course of the month of uh, October, we will then be able to now tell you the value of that meet those meetings and whether we are going to be change the date from August to the date that we, that we shall settle on. And I have come to stamp that it is true, Kisi County is a 24-hour economy. I must say that we have, we have been hosted here and everybody who took part, we are all winners. Since we wanted to Meshinda, in Kikose ya Kwanza Yangu, na ya Pili, which hopefully it will be in Mombasa, I will bring a larger team from Postal Corporation. Yeah? Nitalete team ile sawa. So mimi ningependa tukusema, 
Asanteni sana kwa niaba ya macheme na masiyo ambaye nafasi nimepatiwa. Asanteni sana abagusi. Sindikisa mugata, hei bananga. Hei sindikisa. Sindio? Sindio? Kuambia hawa tumeshukuru sana kwa ukarimu yenyu na tunajua na kushukuru mgenu wetu wa eshima kwa kupata na fasi kuja hapa kufunga hii sherehe ambaye imekuwa ya kufana sana. Mimi tu ningesema ya kwamba ili hizi games tuwe na watu wengi sisi tufanye biashara di G2G. Mnaona? Tupatianeni biashara kama posta tuko na kazi mingi ambayo tunaweza patia KPA na KPA pia tusaidiane kila mahali ndio tulete watu wengi wa participate kwa hii michezo. Si ndio? Kwa so, mapili masiyo ambayo wako hapa government to government engagement is so easy tusaidiane namna hiyo singependa kuchukua nafasi mingi just two things mm. sports is really an important building block for us to be able to appreciate teamwork and working together so i really appreciate the fact that we've had this opportunity one of the things that comes out clearly that we are able to discover through this activity that we really have many talents. I also have discovered that I can run in, 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 in a hundred meters race. I didn't know that, so it's a, a talent I'll work on. But I think the most important thing is that through sports, we are able to express ourselves in very many ways. So the fact that we are able to participate here as a team, we bring ourselves together as a team, we bring the national hood amongst ourselves. And I think sports provides us with such a great opportunity. I was just recalling when we were doing the 400 meters race, we were picking a button. I was picking a button from the next person who, I mean, I was waiting for, without consideration of who, where they came from. I just knew that is a member of my team. This should also teach us as Kenyans that we should all learn together to live together as brother and sister irrespective of where you come from. I did not bother to know where I am getting my button from, but I got my button anyway and I continued with the race. And I think that is the same, same spirit as citizens of this country, that sports should be an opportunity for us to be able to fight tribalism, nepotism, that we become one country, one nation. Asante Nisana. Say something. The sportsmen and women, you came to Kisi, you have participated in these games, you have had the opportunity to interact with the local people. You have mingled them with them in the last one week. And the sense I get now is that the whole event, the entire one week, was fruitful and it was very successful. I want to congratulate you, sports men and women. You are all winners, the mere fact that you participated in these games. Those who are able to, to win, greater congratulations. The second point I want to make is on behalf of all the visitors who traveled. Again, I want to thank our hosts, the county government of Kisi, for providing the facilities, the venues. I want to thank the security agencies in Kisi for making this event such a resounding success. We will for a long time remember this last week we have all been around. I want to thank the insurance group, Minet Insurance Brokers, who brought this camp to Kisi. My information from the members of the community here is that a lot of them, a large number of uh, citizens from this county were, had a chance to get free treatment and some of them had a chance even to know their status in various health aspects. We thank you, Minette, 
and we thank Koso for the initiative you bring uh, uh, Minet along with you. Thirdly, I want to say this, that uh, I want to make a commitment that next year, Kekoso Games, wherever they will be held, will be bigger and will be more successful. I want to work with the other leaders in my ministry, my own uh, cabinet secretary, to ensure that other state departments within our ministry, which do not participate, including agencies within the infrastructure, state department of infrastructure, that is Kenya Roads Board, Kenya Rural Roads Authority, Kenya National Highways Authority, Kenya Urban Roads Authority, and the Kenya Railways Corporation, that they become part of these games in the next day and next week, next year. And lastly, I want to thank Ambassador Amina Mohammed for her efforts to travel all the way to be with us on this occasion. Amina, this is where I was born. This is where I grew up. I went to a school here called uh, Kereri. That time it was a, a mixed school. Now it's a girls' school. When I tell people I went to Kereri, they they don't understand that, but in those days. And then later on, I went to Kisi High School. So this is my home base, and I'm very glad that we were able to come and grace this occasion and officially open these very, very successful games for us. And lastly, I want to say one thing. I am myself a former sportsman. I played football in school. I also played football for Gormaia, the mighty Gormaia football club. I was number 10 for Gormaia. And I played for the national team. I want to say one thing about sports. Waziri Amina, you are making a lot of efforts to involve Kenyans in sports. And the peers outlined that I can't say it any better, the importance of sports. When I was younger, my first job was, was with Bata Company. And I helped to form a team there called Bata Bullets. I was a play player and a manager for that team. And I noticed that Every time we played and won over a weekend in the Premier League, the National League that time, that in the following week, the company was able to manufacture more shoes, more sandals, and so on, because the level of motivation on the part of workers went high. Their team has won, and eventually, but the shoe company itself took up the team and started sponsoring the team. And I want to say to Waziri Amina, if you want to succeed in sports and embrace, include, have everybody included in participation in sports, let us have more and more private sector sponsoring various games in this country. The private sector have more resources. You cannot expect the government to avail resources for the various sports activities. Let us involve the private sector. And I'm appealing to the private sector to come in, sponsor athletics, sponsor football, sponsor volleyball, netball, and all these other teams. There is huge, huge potential. Sports will bring us together as a nation We'll forget about these divisions in terms of uh, tribe and so on. So I want to wish you well, sportsmen. I want to wish you the, man the management of Kekoso well and look forward to even better games. Thank you, my God bless you all. To congratulate the winners of contests, 
various disciplines, and at the same time thank those who did not make it, because coming out to participate is the most important thing. For the record, Madam Sears, Kisi has had a cordial relationship with Kekoso. In 1993, Kokoso Games were successfully held here in Kisi, and I believe again this year, this, would, this must have been one of the most successful uh, Kekoso Games, and we accept that indication from some of the other speakers that they will look forward to coming back to Kisi. We sure will welcome you. Madam Sears, when members of the Kokoso team of the Kokoso Governing Council feasted us earlier in the year requesting to hold this event in Kisi, not only did we give our nod as a county government, but also we undertook to give all the best in terms of hospitality, and I believe we have accorded you a befitting treatment the last one week, and in cooperation with the national government in Kisi County, led by Kigochi, I'm sure your security was top-notch. Importantly, Madam Sears, as a county government, we are committed to promoting sports, and that's why we're giving a facility to sports facilities in our county, besides putting programs in place aimed at nurturing talent. Indeed, some of you, or if someone who came here before the evolution, you will have noticed a big difference in the way our stadium looks. We have built, as you can see, a perimeter fence. We have put up a VIP pavilion, and also put up other pavilions for spectators, as well as VIP washrooms and the inner perimeter fence. All this were done here, but they were not there before. But when His Excellency the President came here, he promised that he was going to give us support. Madam Sears, as the Minister and Judge of Sports in this country, we are urging you to give us a hand in reminding the President of the promise that he made the people of Kisi County that he will support us in making this stadium look better than it's looking. I also want to appeal to the member organization, the Kekosko Fraternity, who have been steadfast in the football arena with teams in the FKF and other national leagues such as Posta, KBA, Taranta, and others to consider holding their matches in Gusi Stadium because as you can see this stadium now meets national, if not international standards. Mukuja Mubigia Mubirayeno Hapa. Tuko na Shabana Hapa. We are trying our best to promote Shabana, but it will be nice if you can also make this. Sometimes you are playing field. Further, I want to also appeal to the ministries and the parastatos represented here to consider boosting our efforts in uplifting sports at the grassroots besides other, co other corporate social responsibility drives by considering, if you look, Gangalia Bale, the work on the two bleachers. We are in discussions with uh, Savalcom to help us put up another two or three more bleachers. And we are challenging, or rather we are appealing to the corporations, Postal Corporation, KBA, and those other corporations to consider donating a pleasure to Kissy Sports, to Wussy Stadium, and we will allow you to market yourself using that pleasure on us and Dika, Majina Yenuku, whichever names you want to use, so that we can partner in making this facility a better facility. KBA Mugujaba, Kenya Airways, we will allow you to market yourself using those pleasures. Let me also thank the KBA administration for organizing a free medical camp for county residents in conjunction with MINET. And in discussions with MINET, we have agreed that they'll come back. We don't take it for granted. 
we hope Yeshua will come back. A number of our people have benefited from the medical camp here in Gusi Stadium, which has been touted as the most successful in the history of the Costco Games. And on behalf of the people of Kisi, we thank KBA and also we thank Minet for that support. You also need, I want us to, to, ch to ch I want to challenge those other teams to consider Kisi as a Lucifer of very strong sportsmen, sportsmen and women. I mean, remember what we can be able to do with KBA. Uh, I keep on using KBA because it's the lead organization here, KEA and all sorts of organizations. these games, Don't forget that that is the best you can give that is the best legacy to Kisikia to Wakisi more than we Miandikwa. In this organization that we are here today, we will thank you. Finally, let me remark, Madam Sears, that you are being here has definitely boosted local business, especially in the hospitality sector. And I believe you enjoyed your stay. And once again, thank you, Kekoso, for alternatively holding the 40th edition of the annual games here in Kisi. And they welcome you. And I sincerely welcome you on behalf of the governor of Kisi County to come back again. You'll be most welcome. Ohio, Mengi, Namajaje, I want to, with humility, invite. Secretary, Ministry of Transport, Infrastructure, Housing, and Urban Development, and my former boss as Minister of Foreign Affairs when I was still an ambassador in Geneva, Honorable Chris Obure, the Principal Secretary, Ministry of Information, Communication and Technology, Mr. Jerome Oche, the County Commissioner, uh, Kisi County and the Deputy County Commissioner, the Chairman of Kikoso, uh, Mr. Bilda Cicero, the Chairman and CEOs of our different organizations and services, Secretary General, Mr. Omole Asiko, and the entire Kesoko governing, Kekoso Governing Council, our esteemed players, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to join you uh, today as we officially close the 2019 Kekoso Games. These games have raised the standard of competitiveness among our ministries and agencies and served to build friendship and cohesion among us. I'd like to convey greetings from His Excellency, the President of our Republic, His Excellency, President Uhuru Kenyatta, Mezi <laughs> Let me also convey the greetings of the Deputy President and the greetings of Right Honorable former Prime Minister, Raila Odinga. <laughs> and I'd like to say that um, we were with the Honorable Raila Odinga yesterday, and he had really desired to be here with us today, but due to a family commitment, uh, he could not. And so please receive his well wishes. I thank the Governor, His Excellency, the Governor of the County of Kisi, the County Government as a whole, and the people of Kisi County for graciously hosting these games. I also thank all participants who have made it to this one week uh, games and they've made the games a success. It's my belief that you enjoyed the hospitality and I think I've heard from all of you, confirming that you actually enjoyed the hospitality offered by Kisi County as you competed against each other, formed lasting friendships and created memories that will motivate you to serve our great republic with commitment, with discipline and with integrity. I hope that, uh, that you too, after receiving all this uh, wonderful hospitality from Kisi County, have managed to convert a few Kisi youth, both girls and boys, right, to becoming sportsmen in future. If you have done that, then you would have paid the county back. If you haven't, please do that before you leave this county. 
I want to congratulate the Kekoso Games Governing Council for working so hard to confirm that these games, that these games are a going concern for maintaining focus on them and for raising the standards of these games. I fondly remember, and this is at a very personal level, the in-depth briefing that I got and the invitation that I received before the governing council left for Kisi. They came to my office knowing that uh, they came to the office knowing that uh, I had taken up this portfolio a few months ago and truly briefed me. I think we were together for almost two hours and convinced me of the wonders of these games. And I'd like to thank you very, very much for that. I have witnessed some of it myself. I wish I had been here for the seven days with you because then I'd have actually seen all of you in action. I promise that I will do that next time. Let me also celebrate the foresight of this governing council in seeking to deepen the spirit of devolution by encouraging counties to host. And this they are doing in accordance with this year's motto of taking sports to the people, to promote sports tourism, to create awareness about your work and about your products. This partnership tests the capacities of our county facilities. It encourages their development and upgrading, and it strengthens grassroots sportsmanship in host counties. It helps support mental balance and physical fitness amongst workers of different, in the different organizations. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, these games in the past developed the careers of athletes, and I think you know all of them, but I will still name a few. Rosa Tatabuya, then a member of the sprinting team from the Kenya Ports Authority. Kenneth Ochie, also from KPA, who went on to become a gold medalist in the Olympic Games. Thomas Osano from Posta, who went on to become a 10,000 meters world champion. Paul Eren, and of course, Tegla Larupe, also from Posta, who went on to become Olympic medalist, and Helen Chamtai from the Kenya Railways, who was an African Games silver medalist, amongst many others. Simwa Pigema Kofi. These games, ladies and gentlemen, have over the years served as real raison d'etre for the recruitment of gifted athletes into our state corporations thus augmenting their rewards from state talents, uh, from sports talents, excuse me, with salaried employment and dignified public service. I encourage government agencies to embrace this same spirit when recruiting and to continue this uniquely Kenyan tradition. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, sports is a key element in defining the future of our republic. Apart from being a divine expression of joy, when one participates, and especially when one wins, sport is the process through which we develop the discipline and the endurance that shapes athletes into national transformation and transformative agents. It also enables one to learn and share rich cultures and experiences from different parts of our extremely beautiful country. Sports is universal. Like music, it's multilingual. The knowledge of different languages is not a requirement. Understanding the rules is a requirement. And recognition of the role of sports for individual development and for our national heritage and identity, His Excellency the President has directed that sports be adequately funded. As this sector is, together with creative industries, education and entrepreneurship, one of the key pillars of youth empowerment. The government has established the Sports, Arts and Social Development Fund, 35% of which will go exclusively to sports development. Through our strategic investment, we will ensure that we establish sports in Kenya as a well remunerating, economically empowering professional sector and a key recruiting platform for the international market. Let me Thank you.
picture. sportsmen and women. I think it's extremely important that our private sector, our corporate sector, takes part in these sports and supports our sportsmen and women. I know that uh, we had a lot of support before uh, from some of the major, major players in the private sector. Uh, but that support has been winning of recent and so I'd just like to encourage them, as everybody else has done, and to come back supporters because the money that we have in the fund will never be fully adequate. We still have some inadequacies that can be addressed by support from the private sector. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when Vitimbi uh, came forward, and I think there was an issue that was raised about um, uh, doping, and uh, I also teased the PS when he was drinking Fanta in preparation yeah, for his participation in, uh, in the sprint, I, I teased him about uh, what that Fanta was going to do for him. And I wondered whether it would put him at a greater advantage than other players. Yeah? And I think that's an issue that all of us have to, have to address. Of course, Fanta is allowed uh, before uh, a sport, participating in a sport. Um, but unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, Kenya in the recent years has come under the spotlight. And it has come under the spotlight for a wrong reason, due to doping. And as sports person who believe in clean sports, and I know that what we had here this week was totally clean, I hope that you will support our total rejection of doping, and that you will become our frontline anti-doping ambassador. Mnakubali, we must reclaim and we must retain our dignity and the high esteem that we have enjoyed over the years as one of Africa's standard bearers in ethical sporting as well as a global leader in anti-doping. During my meetings recently with different uh, federations, I've made it clear, and I'm going to repeat that here today, that that era of holding only the athletes responsible for doping is drawing to an end. We intend to also ask the trainers, the managers, and the agents to take their responsibilities seriously. The athletes do not act alone that's our message. Athletes do not act alone. Others either know or suspect and must do their bit. Doing our bit is what we advised by our icon, Nobel laureate Wangari Masai. We must all do our bit. I've also made it clear, and I hope it's been understood, that athletes who fail the anti-doping test those that are carried out by ADAC here in the country before they leave for competitions outside our country, they will not be allowed to continue and participate in international tournaments if they fail those tests. We will keep them here at home because it's better that we keep them here than have international embarrassment later when our athletes are disqualified because they failed tests. And I know that you agree with me, and I hope that you will support this effort. It's a noble effort. It's about our values, it's about our dignity, it's about the esteem of our beloved homeland. It's also about future athletes and how they will be treated by the international community. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't thank all organizations which took part in this year's games, and especially all those who are here in front of us and those that we watched winning some of the tournaments. As you go back to
to your normal duties, you also embark on training in your fields and focus on successfully defending your positions next year. Remember to carry the message of clean sports. And although the Ministry of Sports, Culture and Heritage did not participate, did not participate in this year's games, we will join you next year and every year after that to defend our titles in swimming and basketball, as well as expand our leadership and dominance into other fields. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I thank the organizers, the participants, the spectators, the media, and the general public for making the 2019 Kekoso Games a success. Once again, I congratulate the winners. I wish you all a safe journey back to your various stations, as well as distinction in your sporting endeavors and in your public service. Let's continue to do what we need to do to make sure that we leave a good and solid legacy. I promise the Honorable Deputy Governor that I will transmit the message to His Excellency the President on absolute pleasure, a delight, and a privilege to declare the 2019 Kekoso Games officially closed. And thank you very much.